one of the most popular specialised microphone techniques is stereo miking. The employment of two or more microphones to create a stereo image will often give depth and spatial placement to an instrument or audio recording. In this demonstration, I am going to utilise Alan Bloomline's own Bloomline technique to capture the stereo image of a piano performance. The piano is by no means an easy instrument to capture, and there are many different microphone techniques that audio engineers employ to capture the essence of this instrument. As such, the incorporation of a Bloomline stereo pair in the position that I have selected are only capable of capturing a limited footprint, so I have incorporated the addition of three extra microphones to round out the fullness and tone of this instrument in my broader recording. The Bloomline pair is perhaps the best known of all single point microphone techniques and is used to create a stable and articulate stereophonic image by combining a pair of bi-directional microphones. The arrangement consists of a matched pair of microphones of the bi-directional figure 8 polar pattern, positioned 90 degrees in relation to each other as a coincident pair. With the result being a four-lobed polar pattern, the array is oriented so that the line bisecting the angle between the two microphones points towards the centre of the sound source. The polar patterns of the pair combined with their positioning delivers a high degree of stereo separation in the source material, as well as offering great capacity to capture the natural reverberance of the recording environment. In the case of this piano recording, you can see that the lid has not been removed from the piano, thereby hindering the ability of the microphones from capturing the room ambience. Plus the proximity of the microphones to the sound source will compound this, so a stereo room mic has been employed for the task of capturing room acoustics. I have placed the microphones in the middle of the soundboard directly over the hammers to maximise the stereo image and to capture a tight percussive sound. In order to reproduce the stereo image for playback, all that is necessary is for the engineer to pan the two microphone channels fully left and right respectively. The resultant stereo image will offer great stereo accuracy and detail.